guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video this is my blush my bronzer and my highlighter declutter collection and declutter I also included face powders in here it's a lot as you can see but not as much as my eyeshadow so hopefully this video won't be quite as long as my eyeshadow video so I'm just gonna try to cut straight to the chase so we can um, get through this as fast as possible of what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. I do have stuff um, sitting in my drawer. I don't know if you see it. It's open. So I'm going to go to that one first. So first I have this Nyensa. It is the Sun Glow Silk Bronzing Base. It, let me open it up for you. It looks like this on the inside. It definitely has like a light clean perfumey scent i heard that this was an exact dupe for the chanel soleil tan bronzer and i never had the soleil tan bronzer but i watched a video of somebody who did have it and they compared it to this one and the shades looked exactly the same on the face i do love i love this cream bronzer it was one of the very first cream bronzers i got so i am going to keep this one i really like this one Next, I have this Wonder Beauty. I got this in either an Ipsy or no, I think it was a either Tri Beauty box or a Boxy Charm. And it's supposed to be a double date lip and cheek palette. That's what it says here. The only thing I don't like is the shade on the bottom. It looks like those type of glossy highlights or maybe it's supposed to be a lip balm. I don't know what that is. But <laughs> the shade on the top is really pretty. I really like this shade. It was a really turned out to be a really pretty blush shade. It blends really easy. I really like the shade on top. But I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I think I might just go ahead and declutter it just because I have other cream blushes that I love more than this one. I'm going to try to sanitize. I'll probably spray them with alcohol and try to sanitize these as much as possible for you guys. But yeah, there's just other cream blushes I love more and I've only used this maybe once or twice. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Next, I have a cream blush by Fenty Beauty. This is the Bikini Martini. It's called the Bikini Martini Blush. And it looks like this. It is a very bright pink cool tone blush. I really like their blush formula. I think it's really good. I think it's not super pigmented. You can build it up to be super pigmented. But I do like that it's not like super pigmented when you first put it on your brush. I love that it's a buildable blush that way. Because you know you can always build up a blush. But you it's hard to take away once you, <laughs> once you put too much blush on. So I do like that it has such a buildable formula. I know some people wasn't a fan of it. But I really liked it. And I am going to keep that... Next, I have this ColourPop blush. It's from the Candyland collection. This one is Gummy More. And it is a super shock blush. It looks like this. It's kind of marble, and it smells really good. It smells like candy. And it's just like a shimmery blush. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I really like this blush. <laughs> and it's one of the only super shock blushes I have. I don't have many super shock blushes. This is the only one I have. Okay, next, I have these e.l.f. These are newer to my collection, the e.l.f. Putty Blushes. I have this one. It's like a peachy, neutral peachy shade. I'm going to keep all of these because I just got these in my collection. And I haven't had a chance to use all of them yet. Here's this one. It's like a berry tone. I've used that one once. Then I have two more. This one is just like a neutral blush. Here is this one. It's like a neutral colored blush. I really like that. I've used this one once too. These peachier ones are newer in my collection, so I haven't had a chance to use them yet. This one is a like a peachy pink color. It's really pretty. I love these e.l.f. putty blushes. I've seen recently that Manny MUA was talking about them. They are a really beautiful formula. I definitely recommend them. Some um, cream blushes, I think they're great. They're like cream to powder blushes. Next, I have this pretty fresh from ColourPop. It's a hydrating illuminator, and it is in the shade Soft Ivory. I am going to keep this for now. I've only used it once. I think I'm going to use it more once the summertime comes, but this is a really beautiful 
um, liquid highlight and I don't have this is literally my only liquid highlight I have so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in my collection I really like it uh, we're just gonna go in the back work from the back to the front this is the most recent thing I got this is a Marc Jacobs glow away bronzing coconut body stick it looks like this it looks really gold on camera but it doesn't look as gold in real life but I'm gonna keep this because I literally just bought this from TJ Maxx <laughs> it's in the shade fantastic next we have this milk makeup one this is a matte bronzer stick and I got it in the shade um baked and I'm gonna keep this one too because I was on the hunt for this one everybody talks about how good this bronzer is I cannot wait to use it I haven't used it yet I literally just got it this week <laughs> next we have the Fenty Beauty a cream bronzer this one is in uh, zero two but a biscuit zero one is like a contour shade and zero two is just like a beautiful neutral bronzy shade it's like a neutral bronzer I really love this so I'm gonna keep it next we have this is from Colourpop's sister brand soul body and this is in the shade light it is the face and body bronzing balm and this is gorgeous this reminds me a lot of the Yensa one I have and it just has a beautiful tropical coconutty almost sunscreen scent but like better than a sunscreen oh, it just smells like tropics I'm keeping this this is one of my favorite ones this is just so beautiful on the skin there's no glitter in it it's just makes your skin look glowy and beautiful but not too glowy I love it Next, we have some of the newest in my collection, the Charlotte Tilbury one. This one is in number two, medium. This is the Airbrush Flawless Bronzer. I literally just got this in the mail, not too, like a few days ago. So I'm very excited to do this. I got it because um, they had on their site, if you spend like $90 or something like that, you got their... Um, Hollywood Flawless Foundation for free. So I've been wanting these. And when I seen that, I went ahead and jumped and got this. It's one of the things I've been lusting after. I also got the highlight. This is one of the things that I got too. I've been wanting. This is the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. It looks like this. I hope it's not too dark for my skin tone. But I swatched it and I don't think it is. But I've been wanting this too. It's a ginormous um, highlight it's the same size as the bronzer <laughs> and if by the time I got these two that I've been wanting so bad I got the foundation for free so I thought that was a pretty good deal actually next we have this from Marc Jacobs this is the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer right yep Omega bronze and it's in Tantric, and this was in, I bought in TJ Maxx, and so far, I haven't, because I haven't tried the Charlotte Tilbury yet, so far, this is my favorite bronzer that I own. This one, I can't, ever since I bought it, I can't stop using it. I keep on picking it up since I got it from TJ Maxx, I keep using this one. This one's absolutely my favorite bronzer of all time right now. <laughs> okay, next we have this from Too Faced. This I've been wanting since um, I've seen it. <laughs> and I found it in TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And this is the Natural Lust Bronzer from Too Faced. <clears throat> it's just gorgeous packaging. And not only is the packaging gorgeous, the emblem on the inside is gorgeous. I'm going to keep this. I haven't used it yet because I've got it around the same time as I got the Marc Jacobs one. And I've been so stuck on the Marc Jacobs one that I haven't had a chance to try this one out yet but I'm not gonna let it go because I wanted it for so long and I finally got it so I don't care I'm keeping it <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one next we have this from Catrice Cosmetics it's the Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer and I got this one because Teresa's dad compared it to the Tom Ford bronzer it's like gold she said it's a very close dupe to it not quite but she said it was really close i haven't used it yet to attest to that but i'm gonna keep it so i can try it out because i haven't tried it yet <laughs> okay. 
Next we have this is from NARS. This is their OG Laguna bronzer. I found this at TJ Maxx too. And I had to get it. I really I've used it a few times already and I really like this too. I think it compares to the uh Marc Jacobs one in my opinion. I think it's a really nice bronzer. Blends out easily. Definitely worth the price. <laughs> Next we have this Revolution uh skin kiss bronzer it is a huge bronzer. It's an ice kiss is the shade. It's just a beautiful white highlights i think i'm gonna get rid of it though just because i have so many highlights that am i really gonna use this one probably not i think i'm gonna sell it i got this and i really liked it because it's an icy white highlight but i think i might just sell this one i'm gonna declutter it next we have this from becca this is my which what colors rose quartz bronzer bronzer highlight i'm crazy <laughs> So it looks like this has a beautiful imprint on it and it's a beautiful pink shade. I'm going to keep it because I've used it a couple times and I really like it. I don't have many Becca bronze highlighters, but I did find these at TJ Maxx and I'm going to keep it. I like it. I'm going to keep this one too. This one's also from TJ Maxx from Becca Cosmetics. This is the um, Prismatic M Fest one. Here's what it looks like. It's more of a like a duochrome pink purple bronzer or bronzer i keep on saying bronzer highlight it's just gorgeous i'm gonna keep it i really like it okay next we have this from ofra cosmetics this is the covent garden highlighter i do think i'm gonna declutter this one i used it one time and i think it's just too deep for my skin tone it's like a pinky bronzer bronzer i'm never gonna get out of saying bronzer it's just a pink highlight it's just too deep just a slightly too deep for my skin tone i think it leaves a little bit of a cast on me which i don't like so let's just keep up with highlights huh shall we this is the ColourPop pop flexitarian super shock cheek highlighter i'm gonna keep it i really like this highlighter it's like a champagne color it's really really pretty and I love it. Okay. Next we have this from Physicians Formula. This is their butter highlighter. And this one is in the shade Pearl. This is like one of my true white highlighters. At least I think it is. It doesn't look like it in the light though. <laughs> but it just has that wonderful, you know, tropical smell that Physicians Formula has. And I think for now... I'm going to declutter it, though, because I am thinking about getting the Physician's Formula All-Star Palette, which it has a highlighter in it. So I don't think I need this one. I think I need to let this one go. It is gorgeous, and I do love this highlight. It's so pure pretty. It reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock highlights. So I'm going to let it go, though. There's just other highlights I like just as much as that one. Okay. Next, we have this one from J-Cat. It's You Glow Girl Highlight. And this one is in, um, it's a baked highlighter. It's in Crystal Sand. This is just gorgeous. This is a really gorgeous highlight. It's just, oh, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it reminds me. I think these could be dupes for um, Ofra's highlights. But I have so many highlights. I think I'm going to actually declutter this one. I love it so much. It looked so good on my skin. It's really blinding. So I said I think this could be like really dupes for the Ofra ones. But I have so many highlighters here that I need to let some of them go. So this one's going to be let go. I also have this J Cat U Glow Girl Baked Highlighter. This one is in Bella Rose. I love this highlight. You guys, I just love highlights in general. I can't get it open. <laughs> this one has like a rose thing in here. I just love this. I love it. If you can see, it's there right here. I don't know if you can see it. I can't tell if you can see it, but uh, I think I might just declutter this one too. As much as I like these, I think I just have other ones that I love more. Even though I love these so much. 
I'll probably sell those in a set together. So next we have this O4 Cosmetics. It's the Star Island highlighter. This one is just a beautiful champagne highlighter. And I do love O4 Cosmetics highlighters. They're some of my favorites. But I think this one I'm going to let go. Because there's just other colors from O4 I like better. Same with this one. This is the O4 Cosmetics one too. This one is the Nikki Tutorial Once Highlighter Everglow. Which just has all of the highlights in them. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this too. Just because you could probably mix those two highlights together. And this one would make a great one step eyeshadow. But I have so many highlights. I need to get rid of some of these. Next we have this one from O4 Cosmetics. This is the Pillow Talk Highlighter. This one I will not declutter. This is the perfect pink highlighter for my skin tone. It's one of my favorites. It's going to stay with me. Next we have this one from Ofra, and this is the collab with Nikki Tutorials 2. But this one is Glazed Donut, and this is the, like the most perfect icy white highlighter. I'm keeping, I'm going to keep that one. This one is also from Ofra, and it's the Nikki Tutorials Twin 2. But this one is on the shade Cloud 9. It is a duo chromey highlighter that has like a pink shift to it. I'm going to keep it. I just love my Ofra highlighters that's all there is to it <laughs> so next i have this essence pure nude space lighter highlight and this is be my space light it looks like this it has like the same shift as the nikki tutorials when it has like a pinky shift to it but this is more of on the natural side and as much as i do love this highlight i think i might declutter it just because i have the nikki tutorials one that pretty much has the same reflect as this one but it's more blinding than this this is more of a subtle highlight which i love a subtle highlight but um, it's just I need to get rid of things guys we're moving so I, I have to do some strict declutters <laughs> I can't hold on to everything I have this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and Cosmo Lighter too this one I think I'm going to keep so I don't have anything like this in my collection this one shifts green so this one is pretty unique to my collection it does shift to a green highlight I don't have anything like that that shifts green on me I'll try and see if I can swatch it for you. It's up here. As you can see, it shifts green. It's just really pretty. I'm going to keep that one. Because that one is unique. Okay. This one, I have this from Too Faced. It is the Fancy Pink Diamond Highlighter. Looks like this. I think I'm going to declutter it just because... I have other highlighters I like better than this one. This one, it was really pretty. But I have so many highlighters, I have to declutter some of them. <laughs> so I have this liquid highlighter. It's the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost. Is it in the shade Ice Queen? I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. I just don't use that many liquid highlights, especially this one. You know, I'm getting rid of all my Jeffree Star stuff. So there's that. <laughs> I have this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter that everybody talks about liking. I'm going to keep this because it's a beautiful, natural highlight. This one I absolutely love. See if I can get a good swatch for you here. It, I got it heavily swatched there on my, my arm for you. You can see it there. It's right here. It's just so pretty. It's a pretty natural Highlight. It's one of the only natural highlights I have, so I'm going to keep it. <clears throat> hey, here we have the Clinic. I just got this Clinic one. This is the Cheek Pop Highlighter Gold Celebration Pop. This was just came out. I haven't done a video on it yet, but I want to. And it's the Year of the Ox. So it has a little ox imprinted on it. It's a very cute and new to my collection, so it's going to stick around. <laughs> Here I have this Artist Couture one. It is a loose highlighter. It's in Summer Haze. And it just looks like it might be too deep for me. I don't think I've used this. But I haven't even opened it. So I'm going to I'm gonna declutter this one. This one's going to get decluttered. I'm trying to go through and do all my highlighters first. <laughs> but I think I've done them all. 
Oh, there's this one. So I have this Juvia's Place highlighter. It's volume three by Juvia's Place. This came to me broken. I had to repress it. But I absolutely love this highlighter. It's one of the most blinding highlights I have. It's gorgeous. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> okay, I think that's all of my highlighters. I think I might move on to either my bronzers or my blushes. Oh, no, it's not all my highlighters. I just noticed there's one more. Here is my Pat McGrath highlighter. This is the Champagne Gold highlight. This looks absolutely gorgeous. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a pink highlight. It's a very, you wouldn't think by looking at it, but it is a very subtle highlight. And I do think I'm just going to keep this in my collection, even though it's probably one of my least favorite highlighters that I have. But it was expensive. So I'm going to keep it in my collection and try to use it. Try to get some use out of this. This thing is really heavy. It feels like a brick. I'm pretty sure you can knock somebody out with this one. So <laughs> I'm just going to keep it in my collection. Okay. So I am back, and this is the my phone had <laughs> my my phone had died, and I forgot to plug it up to charge. So I have it charging now, and this is the Too Faced um, Pineapple Sun Bronzer, and it has just like a shimmery side and a um, matte side, and you can mix them together to make like a shimmery bronzer. I think I'm gonna keep this for now, just because I am a Sucker for the packaging. It's so cute and reminds me of summer. So I have to keep it. Hey, I have this a mini. It's the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder. I'm just going to keep this probably for when we get to travel again. So I can take just like a loose powder. I haven't even opened it. So I'm going to keep that in my collection. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one too. This is the Laura Mercier powder in translucent. I'm going to keep this too for when I travel. Hey, I have this from e.l.f. This is the, um, what is it called? The Radiant Bronze Stick. I think it's just like a blush. It's supposed to be like a neutral glowy blush. I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it. There's just other neutral bronze blushes that I love in my collection more than that one. Next, I have this Take Home the Bronze um, Anti-Orange Bronzer. It's in the shade Oliver here. And I think I'm going to keep this one too. I'm going to work on trying to hit pan. I want to do a Project Pan video this year. I just haven't gotten around to film it. But I think I'm going to put this in the Project Pan video and try to just finish this up it's hard to get in there because it's such a small pan and if you look at it real close it got kind of like bumpy which I think is weird I'm never I'm never really used so much of a bronzer to know if that's normal but I do want to try and hit pan on this and maybe use this up this year but I'm gonna keep it <clears throat> oh there's something oh I have this cover FX this I think is also translucent light setting powder I'm going to keep this for travel purposes. Next, we have this from Wet n Wild and Pac-Man. This is the, uh, it was limited edition two. I think this is, is this the bronzer? I think this is the bronzer one. But, it's like these little bronzer pellets here. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. There's just other bronzers I love more. I might end up selling this with the blush that goes with it instead of maybe selling it together as a set because I do have the blush. This one is the blush in the collection. And both of these are really pretty. I really liked both of them. This is what the blush looks like. It's like a glowy blush. And the bronzer is like a glowy bronzer. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one, too. <clears throat> okay. Next, we have this from Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> this is actually I got from, I think it was a sample that came with my Sephora thing. And this one is the Flawless Finish Powder. This is in shade 3, though. And my idea here was I could use it as a bronzer. <laughs> and it does work as a bronzer on me. So I am going to keep this. It, it actually is a really pretty bronzer on me. Almost like the 
I'm wondering if it works like the flawless bronzer. Maybe not. Here is this Butter Blush from Physicians Formula. This is in the shade Vintage Rouge. Here's what it looks like. It's just like a neutrally, um, neutral rose color brush, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and declutter it because, like I said before, I'm thinking about getting that All-Star palette. And if I get the All-Star palette, it has a blush in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this one. <clears throat> Next, I have my Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. So this is one of the first blushes I ever got when I started getting into makeup. And I just love this. It still smells like delicious peaches here. And you can tell that I've really went in and it's hard to see on camera. But there's a big dent there in the middle where I really used it. And I still love this. It's a beautiful glowy blush. I'm going to keep that in my collection. <laughs> Next, this is from Shop Masse AOA Studio. It is a sculpting stick. It's a contour stick. Cream contour. I really actually like this. It's like, I forgot what shade. This is in the shade Nude. And it just looks like, it's just the perfect like gray tone brown for my contour. So it does work really good for contour. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. And this might end up in a project pan this year too. So I can use it up. Okay, next we have this mini tart blush. This is in the shade Exposed. And it's just a beautiful neutral rose shade too. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because this is like the only tart blush I have. And I do love this uh, formula, the Amazonian clay blush formula. Next we have this from Chantecaille. This is the perfect blur finishing face powder. This looks like this. I do actually love this powder. It does a really good job of blurring your pores. It, however, was limited edition and it isn't available anymore. But I did hear word that they were going to um, make it maybe a permanent part of their line and bring it back again. So we'll see. But I really do love this as a press. This is like one of the only pressed powders I like. But I really like that one. Next, I have this powder. This is the Perfect Peach Perfect Powder. This is one of the first powders I ever got. So this is one of the first, first powders that I ever got. And I just, I like it. I still have, like, this is such a big powder. I still have, like, it looks like half of it left here. I might put this in a project pan, too, because this is one of the first powders I ever got. And, yeah. I really like it. I still like it to this day. <laughs> so here is this one. This is from AOA Perfect Studio. It's a setting powder too. This was in the shade of brightening, I think. This is 0220 brightening. Yep, it's a brightening powder. So I'm going to keep this because it was only a dollar and selling it would be completely useless. <laughs> but I am going to keep this because I did actually like this powder. It's a pretty good powder. <laughs> Okay, next we have this one from, um, this was also from Shop Miss A when I did my first Shop Miss A video. This is a Malibu Glitz. This is a like a glowy blush. It's actually a really pretty glowy blush, but I think I'm just going to see if my sister-in-laws want this, so I'm going to declutter it. It's really pretty, but I don't think I'm going to sell it because it was only a dollar unless I just throw it in with like a blush. If they don't want it, I might do like a blush. Um, sell it with a bunch of, bunch of other blushes. I might do that. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. <laughs> hey, this is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is just in the shade of bronzer. It looks like this. I do love this bronzer. It still has the wonderful coconutty tropical smell to it. I think I'm going to keep it for now. Thinking about putting it in a project pan but i don't know i'm thinking about getting that new physicians formula all-star face palette which also has the butter bronzer in it so i think i might go ahead and get rid of this too yeah i need to declutter it it's time to let things go okay this is my milk makeup it's a mini one it is the lip and cheek i think 
Got lip and cheek stick, and it's in the shade of work. I'm going to keep it because it's just a mini one. It'll be great for um, traveling if that ever happens again. <laughs> It'll be great to travel with. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this because I know I have a... Somewhere here I have a bigger size. What happened to it? <laughs> I have a bigger size of that one somewhere, and I'm going to get rid of that one. But <laughs> until I find it, here's that one. So here's this. This is from Too Faced. This is the Papaya Pop. These are the Fruit Blush Cocktail Duos. This one is in the shade Papaya Pop. I'm going to keep it because I love, for one, the smell. They smell so good. And I love just the packaging and the collection of this. And I haven't had a chance to use these, but I really want to get them. I really want to use them and try them out. <laughs> I got them when they were 70% off on um, Too Faced site. And yeah, I want to try them out. So here's a watermelon one. This one is called Like My Melons. <laughs> and this one smells like watermelon. So it's really pretty. I'm keeping all of these. But I am going to show it to you. <laughs> Here is this one. This is from Milani. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer. This is an 01 Sunlight. It looks like this. Everybody raves about this bronzer. But I have to be honest. I use this... A couple times and I just have other ones that I love more I do even though this one is a nice bronzer and I am getting ready to do like a Milani video with new stuff from Milani I don't think I'm gonna I might use this for that video and then declutter it I do think this is a little hard pressed like I've used this a couple times and you can't even tell that I've even used it <laughs> that's crazy you can't even see that I've used this and I have used it a couple times so I think it's going to get decluttered. I might use it on my Milani video that I do. I think I'm going to film it next week. And then I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this. I don't know when I'm going to see these videos up on my channel. But I know it'll be soon. So we have this one. This milk makeup one. It is um a lip and cheek one too. Right? Yeah, the lip and cheek one also. And it is in the shade Perk. I'm going to go ahead and keep this because I don't have... The smaller version of this shade. And I did find this at um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. Next we have this. is from Steve Laurent. It's a jelly highlighter supposedly. But it's in the shade of cotton candy. It doesn't smell like cotton candy. But it's supposed to be. It kind of reminds me of the Super Shock formulas from uh, Colourpop. But I have other blushes I love more. So, I'm going to let this one go. Okay. Next is this LA Colors Highlight. I got this when I did my dollar store video. This is in the shade Shine Bright. I did my Dollar Tree makeup video with this one. And you guys, this is actually a really good highlighter. I love this highlight. Here, let me swatch it for you. You have to see. Like, look at that. Let me look at that that is one one dollar that is so gorgeous and it's really um creamy and soft it doesn't feel powder powdery at all i'm just amazed because it was only a dollar so if you see this in your dollar tree this was totally worth the dollar i have my dollar tree video this was literally the only thing i kept was this highlight that's how much i liked it and i'm still keeping it because it's a beautiful highlight <laughs> So next I have this. It's newer to my collection. It's my number 7 powder. It's called the number 7 Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder. It's in the shade Light. And it looks like this. Looks like this. It, um, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder. And you can kind of see by looking at the packaging that it kind of even looks when you open it like the... The type of shape that the Charlotte Tilbury one is. I've never had the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. But this I really like. I've used it under my eyes a couple times. And it really does brighten and kind of blur your pores and stuff. So I am a big fan of that one. <laughs> Next we have this from Colourpop. This is the Interstellar Powder Blush. It looks like this. I think I want to keep this. I don't know. I think I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. And then we'll see. Because I feel like I do have a lot of colors. I feel like there's even a color that looks like this. In the um in the Manny MUA. Uh, the Lunar Beauty Moon, Moon Prism Palette. 
This is going to go in a maybe pile and we'll see. We'll see. I love the ColourPop blushes though. That's literally the only blush I have from ColourPop. Okay, next we have this pretty vulgar. It is a translucent, right? Um, setting powder is called the Powder Room. I'm mad about it. I have never even opened this. You open it up, there's a little poof in there, and then it's got like a seal. I haven't even opened this setting powder. I got this, I think, in a boxy charm. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I'll sell it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this setting powder. Next, we have this Amuse a matte bronzer. I got this off a of shop miss when I did my video. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this because it was only a dollar, and I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure my um my sister-in-laws will not want this. I don't even know if this is deep enough for their skin. Well, it probably is deep enough for their skin tone. I might send it to them and see if they want it. If they don't want it, then I'm probably just going to toss it. I'm definitely not going to sell this because it was only a dollar. And I don't know if anybody's going to want this <laughs> to really buy this. So I have this from e.l.f. This is the Siren's Call. And I think it's a highlighter. A highlighter duo yep it's a little highlighter duo i think i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this this shade is just too much i could probably use it as a blush but i've never tried but they're supposed to be highlighters i think i'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this i'll post it with maybe maybe i'll post it together with some like drugstore highlighters like a highlighter bundle that's what i'm trying to say so next we have these Kaja Mochi Glow ones. This one is in the shade O2 Prism. It looks like this. It is a highlight. I'm going to keep it because I literally just got this from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It is almost like the Super Shock Formula 2 in the highlight. And I got this one. is the Mochi Pop 2, but this is in O2 Atmosphere. And this is the Bouncy Blendable Blush. And it is. It's like the... They're bouncy. They remind me of the um, Super Shocks from ColourPop. I'm going to keep this too. So I just got it and I want to use it. I haven't had a chance to use it yet to see if I like it. Okay. Next we have this. This is from Kiko Milano. This is the Tuscan Sunshine Perfecting Powder. So this is a pressed powder. And it's like this. It's literally white. That's why I got it because it was white. I haven't even used it. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it because there's just other powders that I have to use that I like more. I don't know. I'm just, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to sell it. There's other powders I like more than that one. Okay. Next we have this one's also from Kiko Milano. This is the Tuscan Sunshine Blush in Florence Dream. It looks like this. It is a very pretty blush. But I just, like I said, I got it for that video that I was going to do on Kiko Milano. I was going to do a full face of Kiko Milano to try out the brand because it was a newer brand that came to, I think, um, Ulta Beauty. But I just never got around to doing it and I haven't even used it. And there's just other blushes I like more. And I don't know. Just, there's other blushes I love more. I'll go ahead and grab out the other one. This one's also from Kiko Milano. This is the bronzer. This is the Tuscan Sunshine Radiant Bronzer in Sweet Honey. And it looks like this. It looks like a pretty good bronzer. I just never got around to trying it out. It's brand new. Haven't even used it. And I really like it. So I'm going to declutter it. Because I never got around to using it. <laughs> so here is this from Catrice, Catrice, Catrice Cosmetics. It is the Sungasm Face and Body Highlighter. It is, is there a shade? No, the shade is Sungasm apparently. This thing is ginormous. This thing is huge. This is probably bigger than the Charlotte Tilbury one I was showing you earlier. I'm going to keep it though because this thing is gorgeous. I love it. I really like I'm never going to use it for my body, but I will use it on my face, and it'll probably take me my entire five lifetimes just to get through this, but I love it. It's a really pretty pretty highlight, and it looks really gorgeous on your skin. Mm -hmm. Next we have, here we are with the Too Faced again. These are, this one is in Strawberry, 
and this just smells like strawberries. It's like a bubblegummy pink. It has the shimmery side. I'm going to keep, you know, I'm keeping all these, but I thought I'd just show it to you. <laughs> I just love these ones. <laughs> this one, here's this one. This one is the shade Apricot in the Apt. And it smells like apricots. Really pretty. Really pretty blushes. I'm going to keep it. Here's the cherry one. This one's called Cherry Bomb. It's a really pretty reddish. This would probably be better on deeper skin tones, but I can use a light hand and, and um, use it. Here is this one. This is a Plumagranite. And this is gorgeous. I like this color. It's very purpley. Like one side's more pinky and one other side's more purpley. I'm keeping it. Hey, next we have this one. This is a Burberry highlight. This is in the shade Fresh Glow White. Number one. It's the Fresh Glow highlighter. Number one in the shade White. The shade is white. It looks like this. This is a very expensive highlighter. I got it on sale though. And I bought it after Teresa's dad was talking about how good the Burberry highlights were. I immediately went and got it. I think it was in a favorites video or something. I immediately went and got it because she said that it was on sale right now. So I went and snatched it up while it was on sale. Next we have this from MAC Cosmetics. I just got this from this year. It is the Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. It's a highlighter. Looks like this. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is our Lunar New Year highlight. I like how it has the kawaii fish, even though it's supposed to be the year of the ox. But this, to me, kind of represents the Gemini symbol. And I am a Gemini, so I had to get this. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to use this. Because I don't want to I don't want to ruin the beautiful fish that are on the front of this. But I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Next, we have this from ColourPop. It is my horse and carriage highlighter. You guys know I ain't getting rid of this. Everybody died over this highlight when it came in. It is a gorgeous blinding highlight. I still have my tape on the thing. But I love this highlight. I ain't getting rid of this one. This is one of my favorite highlights from ColourPop. Okay, let's go through these ColourPop sticks. So I got these blush sticks from ColourPop. This one is in the shade Aloha. I think I'm going to keep them for now because I haven't had a chance to really use them a lot. But it's just a really pretty color. And I want to use them more. Probably in the summertime. Now I got this one is a these are the light sticks. This is the the light sticks from ColourPop. This one is in the shade Flying High. And it is like a pearlescent one too. And it shifts to pink, but it's like a creamy highlight stick. I think I'm gonna keep the highlight these sticks for now. I have one more from them. This is in the shade More is More. It's also a blush stick. It looks like this. I just think it looks really pretty. I'm gonna use these probably more when summertime comes along. So I love using um, creamy blushes in the summertime. Next thing I have is this Revolution um, bronzer. It is in the shade bronze. Oh, it's a bronze reloaded bronzer in the shade Take a Vacation. I haven't used this a whole lot. I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I have other bronzers that I just really love that I don't need to hold on to that one. Next, we have this ColourPop Vogue Pressed Powder Blush. It looks like this. The inside looks like this. It is like, is it the same as this one? <laughs> no. No, those are different. This one's more purple toned. So this is like a cool toned purple mauve color. I don't know yet. I, th I think I'm going to keep my ColourPop blushes for now. And then if I really need to cut later on, then I will cut these ones out. But for now, I'm going to keep them. So I have this from ColourPop. This is the You're a Catch. It's a highlighter. I absolutely freaking hate this packaging it's in, though. Because if you don't have nails, it's hard to get into these clamshell things. But this is an absolutely gorgeous the Super Shock Formula highlight, and I'm going to keep it because I love it. I love the Super Shock Formula. 
I also have this one from ColourPop. This one is in Manifest That. It looks like this. It was like a marbled highlight, and I love it. This is really pretty. It went with the tie-dye collection. <laughs> when they first sent this to me, it came empty, and I had to send them an email, and they refunded me the money, and then, like, the next day, it came back in stock, and I'm like, why did they refund me the money if it came back in stock? <laughs> Or they gave me, like, store credit or something. I was like, why? You could have just gave it to me. <laughs> so here I have this one from, from the collab with Sailor Moon. This one is in Cat's Eye. I have the other one, too. I don't know where it's at. But here is this one. This one's, like, the shimmery one. I'm going to keep it. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. And I want to use it some before I get rid of it. Oh, here it is. So here's the other one I have from the Sailor Moon collection. This one is in from the moon i'm gonna keep this one too this one's just like a really bright pink and this is more of a matte blush i'm gonna keep it <clears throat> next we have this elf cosmetics this is the primer infused blush this one isn't always cheeky absolutely love these blushes these are some amazing blushes from elf cosmetics or primer Influ infused Blush and their primer infused bronzer are really good. These are really good blushes and bronzers if you want some. From the drugstore, I highly recommend these. So here is the bronzer that I have. And this is in the shade Forever Sunkissed. Looks like this. I love this bronzer. I have used a lot of this bronzer. You can't even tell. But <laughs> I've used this bronzer so much when I first got it. Because it was such a good bronzer. And I still absolutely love this bronzer. I would repurchase this one. And it's definitely for a drugstore bronzer for cheap. I would recommend this one. It's really good. Next, I have this Do You from Too Faced. It's a translucent radiant bronzer. It's like a really light pink shade. And I love it. I'm not going to get rid of it. It probably has, but it has like a thing to lock it. I'm going to keep this one. I love this powder. Okay, next we have this Halo Glow Setting Powder from e.l.f. It's in the shade, the light pink shade. I've been using this powder like crazy here lately. Um, this is one of my favorite drugstore powders. This is my favorite one, Halo Glow Setting Powder, because I have dry skin. And this one doesn't dry my skin out too much. And it still sets my makeup without like getting rid of any glow that I might have on my face. It does a really good job at that. So I have that one. I have another one of the Halo Go powders, but this one is in the shade Light, where that one's light pink. This one is just light, and it's really good, too. I like them both. I'm going to keep them both. <laughs> Next, we have this e.l.f. I don't know why I have this in here, but I'll go ahead and do it. It's my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. If you've been watching my previous videos, you already know this is my Holy Grail Primer. This one I use every single time. Like, it's probably close to being, um, I'm definitely close to hitting pan on this thing. I've used this so much, but I'm keeping it, obviously, because it's my favorite. It's going to stay in my collection. And then the last thing I have in here is from Becca. This is a mini thing of Champagne Pop. I think I got this from Sephora, too. It looks like this. I'm of course going to keep this. This will make a great um, travel size highlighter if we ever get to travel again. And Champagne Pop is a really good highlight. It might be just a tad bit dark on my skin tone. But if I go with a light hand, it's okay. <laughs> okay. I believe, I believe that's the end. <laughs> I think that's it. My box is empty and I'm pretty sure... That I got all of my bronzers, highlighters, and blushes out. Oh, I forgot about this one. It's sitting here. This is my milk makeup one. It is the shade Work, right? Yeah, Work. The This is the Lip and Cheek Cream one. And the shade Work, remember I had the mini version. So I am going to declutter this just because I have the mini version. I'd rather just keep the mini version and give the cell the bigger version to... Um, somebody who can use it who's not me so I'm gonna go ahead and put back in here everything that I'm gonna get rid of 
So this is all of the stuff I'm decluttering here from my, my blushes and my bronzers collection. I think it's pretty good. I think I did pretty good here with those. And I think I'm trying to film all this in one day so I have it all done. But I don't think I'm going to make it because it's starting to get pretty late and pretty dark. And we'll see. I might try and go ahead and film. I might try to go ahead and film the other portion of my video. But for now... This is it for my blushes, my bronzers, and I guess my setting powders because I decided to do my setting powders too. So this is it for this section of my collection slash declutter video. I am doing a pretty massive declutter as much as I can just because I have to move in case you haven't watched the previous video. So I'm moving, so I'm trying to get rid of as much of my collection as I can. So it's like a heavy, I have to be hardcore decluttering what I know I'm not going to use in my collection. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button down below. And next to it is the bell. You can ring that bell if you want to be notified whenever I have a future upload. Because the very next one is going to be my concealers, my, um, my concealers. <laughs> I'm going to do my concealers and my foundations next, along with any other miscellaneous things I have. Like, I have some nail polishes I'll probably do, and I'm going to do my primers. And I do have, like, some face mask and stuff. I'll probably do that next, and then I might do the, um, the lip declutter after that, because I think it's just going to be too much for me to do my lips and my other, so... Yep, yeah, be on the lookout for those videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys.